race up till the last. It will be the final few laps before the pattern will emerge. And that's what Group A is all about. At least people are being entertained. It's no longer a procession. Thank you very much. Well, there you go, Mike. He's almost cracked a smile. Back to you. I don't believe it at all. Well, I'll tell you what, it might take a little smile off their faces next year when the, the Brockmobiles get out in uh, February. I think, Alan, yes. um, the Jags and, of course, BMWs and a couple of others that might just feel the pitch. A lot of people will be very encouraged by the fact that the Jags are not invincible. It's, uh, it's demoralizing to uh, put a team together and uh, come to the mountain and hardly be able to qualify. Peter Brock was in tense position. It's been a lot of years since he's ever been that far back. But uh, to know that next year is bringing a few more goodies and a better chance uh, every team works on a 365-day cycle from Bathurst to Bathurst, so there will be a lot of notes go into the computer tomorrow morning, and certainly that new Commodore is one of them. For those New South Wales TAB punters, the tab operating for the first time on the James Hardy 1000 this year, if in your trifecta you've coupled uh, 10, 21 and 5, I bet you've got a pretty fierce grip on the edge of your seat right now. I would think so. And uh, particularly those who are following the fortunes of uh, Roberto Ravaglia in car number 21. The gap opened at 52.10 seconds some time back. And he's been able to pull that back on John Goss to 43.81 seconds. So he is gaining. He'll need to pick it up by at least, uh, well, 1.7 a lap for a photo finish. And I don't think John Goss needs that. And Peter Brock is not all that far astern. In fact, about 200, 300 metres uh, astern of the Revalia car. Uh, 20 laps around here is enough to uh, unnerve the best of drivers. And certainly the heat is being put on John Goss. At what stage he's prepared to go for broke is yet to be seen. Dick Johnson also continues to uh, eat up the uh, competitors just outside of the top group has bypassed Colin Bond in the Alpha and is now up to eighth spot outright, but four laps adrift of the race lead. That's phenomenal. With their very bad luck in the beginning of laps, the oil cooler was was bad luck. I think the wheel change would have to go under the heading of bad management. Uh, you you can put up with a little bit of bad management, but you can't put up with too much bad luck. So BMW and Mustang both. Jim Richards and uh, Dick Johnson have got uh, sad tales to tell today because they're returning mighty performances so far, considering the difficulties that they've had. Yes, that's for sure. Because Jaguar haven't had it all their own way. Started out with three, lost one early. Eyeballing in front with the team leader, Tom Walkinshaw. Severe oil problems has put him down the list to number six. And... Uh, I guess you could call it the third car in the team. John Goss at the wheel is now the race leader. Well, it's awfully handy when you can afford the luxury of having three cars in the field, Gary. There are some that when they go out, they are out. Unfortunately, the phenomenal expense of doing and entering three cars is reserved for the lucky few. Goss has completed 145 laps. The Rivalia Bob Jane car is about to cross the start finish line, also to clock over 145. Sounding good, that Snitzer BMW engine. Snitzer, the German company uh, contracted by BMW to do their touring car program as the factory are very busy with Formula One. John Goss holding the gap now on Revalia by 44 seconds. 20 laps to go. 18 laps to go. 18 laps to go. And occasionally we catch glimpses of Peter Brock just back down the track from uh, the Bob Jane car. Yes, well, Peter knows that... Uh, He's got to be there if there's a weakening of the uh, XJS. He wants to be right there. And to do that, he has to unlap or catch the Bob Jane car. Once he gets on his tail, I think that would be relatively easy. But it's interesting that six versus eight versus 12, and they're all circulating within the cooey of one another's lap times. Peter Brock 
is hounding it. You can push it through that corner. The dab of the brakes onto McPhillamy. Through here, giving it everything, using all the road. Peter Brock, of course, driving without front and rear windows. Should be too hot in that car. <laughs> Debris on the track, uh, cracked the front window, and then he was called in by...